Sometimes you don't know. If, sometimes I don't know if I'm a racist. I'm all, you go, I'm not, but then you don't know. So, do, am I a sexist? I don't know. I want to fuck her, so maybe I'm giving her a I went to a McDonald's in Cincinnati. There's two parts of this story. There's the racism part, just because you're black guys and you're sitting in the front. I want to address my guilt. Uh, but it was a, 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 one of those epiphany moments where I went into a, a McDonald's in Cincinnati, and it was the afternoon, and so I walk in, and it's empty, and there's a kid, he's a black kid behind the counter, and it's empty, so there are all the kids behind the counter are goofing around, and they're having fun, and there's kids, you know, smiling and happy, which you hate to see, but I mean, there was a moment where I go, oh, you know, because you have that moment where it's a black kid, and he's happy, and you have that trained moment of, Hey, you know, he's working at McDonald's. It's great. He, you know, he could be out on the streets and doing bad things, but he chose a... But if it was a white kid that was happy at McDonald's, I'd just go, what the fuck are you happy about? You're at McDonald's. Like, so you, you think you're not a racist, but there's some kind of trained racism that you don't even recognize. But here's the rest of the story. This is what fucked with me on a human level, is they're all happy and they're joking. And the kid's got his visor, his McDonald's visor, and it's kind of askew, and he's wearing it sideways. And they're joking, and he sees me come up, and he goes, hey, can I help you? And out of his peripheral vision, he sees his manager come around the corner, and you know, like, uh, uh, um, his face just went, oh, fuck. And he zipped his visor straight and forward, and he made eye contact with me, like, whoo! Like, we just beat the system. <laughs> and, you, and it was just, it was a very subtle moment, but it was one of those moments you go, fuck, you forget people live like this. Where beating the system means, oh, fuck, I gotta keep my hat straight. That was, like, that's his day. Like, what the fuck does that matter? You, people live, they, they take this shit so seriously. I hate it. I, there's something in your job that you do every day in your fucking stupid cubicle here. It's, I don't understand how this town works. It's just fucking glass and metal and fluorescent tubes and you all show up here so f fucking dead. Just lifeless, dead people staring at someone to make your life interesting. I don't know what you want. I, I mean, there's so many sweater vests that have shown up at my show over the last three shows, and I don't know what the fuck you want. <laughs> Some of you are my crowd, and other people are just wayward fucking goats of the system. That It's Saturday, so you, you know after 60 hours, you got to pick something out of the weekend section and go to it. <laughs> Oh, I, I want to set you all on fire. <laughs> We're taping for XM Radio tonight. So I'm going to mention XM Radio a lot, especially in my favorite bits, because if you mention their name, then they'll fucking play it a lot. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> I'm sick, like fighting a fucking, trying to fight a f flu with Jägermeister, and I think it's working. <laughs> and it makes perfect sense. You get a fucking virus, you want to disinfect something, you wipe it down with alcohol, right? Yeah. So far, I'm feeling better. <laughs> fucking... <laughs> 